I'm Gemma Lonsdale, psychic medium and life coach, and you're listening to the Happy Psychic Podcast. Hello lovelies and welcome to this week's episode of the Happy Psychic. I am your host, your guiding light, Gemma Lonsdale. In this week's episode, I am talking about spiritual awakenings, helping you overcome some of the things that you might be experiencing now and giving you some tips on where you can find some solace. make this episode to try and bring some reassurance to those who are going through a spiritual awakening at the moment or who maybe aren't sure and think that they might be at the starting stages at it, want to have some comfort, want to have some reassurance and maybe some insight into some of the things that you can do to try and get yourself through this and try and help you know support yourself through it. First of all let's have a bit of a look at what a spiritual awakening is and a spiritual awakening is really becoming aware that there is something greater than us in this physical life so that there is something more to this world. And that might be just a one-off experience or it might be a series of experiences or a new way of thinking really that you're that you're having, okay? Um some of the things that you might be experiencing, I have made a list here. So for anybody who was watching on YouTube, you may see me looking to my uh my computer screen here. Um so synchronicities, numbers, those are two key things that kind of come up for a lot of people really when they're starting to become more spiritually spiritually aware and starting to go in that spiritual awakening path that could be that you're seeing one 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 all the time on the clock on license plates on till receipts um you know on on a page in a magazine you just see it all the time and then synchronicities tend to be those coincidences in life that just keep on happening where it's not just a one-off thing it's like that's happened then something else has happened then there's been something else and it's all sort of grouped in together so that you're thinking to yourself what's going on like it's a it's the way the universe really is trying to capture your attention um another thing that you might experience is um ears ringing now i sometimes get ear ringing whenever um spirit are trying to capture my attention but that tends to be very very shrill and sharp you may experience that but for most people they experience that on occasion and then they have like just that little sort of background ringing and the vibrational changes that are happening in their head are happening and the ears ringing is like a side effect or an impact of that you might also feel a little bit of pressure around your head as well some dizziness so you know it's just things to be aware of or things that you may have experienced um one of the things that sometimes happens with people when they're going through a spiritual awakening as well is the dark night of the soul if you have not heard of that definitely google it if you have been through it then you probably know what it is if you're wondering what on earth is wrong with you why you feel so sad why you're crying so much why are you going through this then maybe it is a dark night of the soul that you're experiencing okay and it's all perfectly normal um there's no sort of path set path that everybody goes through so everything is a little bit different but dark night of the soul is definitely something to be aware of and it's like a a spiritual depression people would refer to it as now what happens whenever we have our dark night and we could have multiple dark nights it is a purging okay so um it is emotions and traumas and things like that coming to the surface and we're offloading those making way for the light so i always think we have to get rid of the baggage before we can move forward so if you think for every tear that you shed and for every trauma that you unpick and every emotion that you deal with, your vibration is increasing bit by bit, okay? And it's causing then dizziness, the ears ringing and you know synchronicities and everything to occur. So it's really just the universe helping you to feel reassured that there is something else there while also doing its bit to push you up a little bit more and to make sure that you're on the right path and make sure that your vibration is increasing. Another thing that you might find as well is relationships change, people that you were friends with, family members, work colleagues won't resonate with you. You'll look at people a little bit differently. That could change. Relationships ebb and flow all the time, but things might change. That's Rosie in the background. Um, Conspiracy theories sometimes start to appear a little bit less conspiracy theory and what I mean by that is the masks are starting to come off you're starting to view things a little bit differently and you're starting to think okay so maybe this is really happening or maybe it's not a conspiracy maybe there is some truth to it so you will just your view on the world and those things around you might start to shift a little bit not everybody will experience that but a lot of people will 
You will also start to view death a little bit differently potentially as well. Um, I am very comfortable with the thought of death. I haven't always been like that. I have no fear of death whatsoever. Um, so you may start to come to terms with the fact that actually there is something else to look forward to once we have finished this life. It's not a, oh my God, I don't want to die and then that's it all over. Um, it's something to look forward to. And I will testify that any spirit person that I've ever connected to has always hands down preferred the spirit realm to the earth world okay so that will hopefully bring you a little bit more comfort that um whenever it is time to go or when it's time for a loved one you know some of us are whenever we're going through this experience it has been brought on by grief and trauma and um, of losing someone that we love so hopefully that will give you a little bit of um a little bit of comfort really that there is something greater and something amazing that we go on to okay and that your person that is in spirit is you know probably living it up and, and loving life Life where they are um another thing as well is that you might start to come into your spiritual gifts everybody's gifts will be different but my guide is telling me oh rosie rosie wants to come up and join you coming up so rosie meet everybody so if you're watching on youtube you can actually see rosie the jackawawa as she is in all of her glory um so spiritual gifts my guide is always with me okay so i'm a psychic medium my guide is always here she's always able to give me you know advice for the vast majority of us who are connecting in with spirit we will hear spirit okay so if you're not hearing spirit now there is a strong chance that you will at some stage if you want to head down that route hopefully it'll bring you some comfort that you will at least be hearing spirit and um, you may be hearing spirit already and maybe not getting clear conversations through maybe you're questioning stuff whatever part of your path you're on just be aware that whatever gifts you have now won't necessarily be the same gifts as what you have six months six years 16 years down the line so the foundation of our spiritual gift should be of our intuition you might find that you're just getting intuition throughout the minute you're getting more intuitive nudges um so just be open to things changing okay the reassurance is that this is all perfectly normal and with the spiritual path you might find yourself feeling a little bit lonely, starting to view yourself as a little bit different than other people. Maybe you're in the corporate world, you're starting to question whether you fit in there anymore. You can't really talk about the spiritual stuff with the people that are around you, friends, family members, your partner. And that is completely normal. Everybody will have a bit of a different tolerance. Not everybody that you speak to will be tolerant of this sort of stuff. Some people will think that you're a little bit doolally. It's all part of the journey try to not let it worry you too much if you are thinking that what i would really encourage you to do is start to find your tribe okay and it may not be that your tribe is coming in and that's going to be it permanently you might have a group of people come in on your path for a short period of time that then move on and open doors and you know, you form new friendships you might find that the people around you will start to awaken at some point as well and as those friendships have drifted suddenly they're coming back so everything is changing everything will continue to change nothing is ever stagnant in this world and it is just important to be aware of that that just because somebody doesn't resonate with you now they have a strong chance that you know well not a strong chance but there is a chance that they will resonate with you at a later stage okay so you can just be a little bit weary of that um one of the things really is to start to seek out your tribe that is one of the greatest comforts that i found and seeking solace i would say with people who are going through something similar or have a spurt connection or um have a, an awareness or maybe going through some sort of spiritual experience and that is a, a great source of comfort really to feel like you're not crazy however what you may find with other people who are spiritual spiritually gifted they won't always resonate with the experiences that you have but sometimes part of this journey is going through those experiences alone and starting to savor the aloneness of it and there is a strong chance that you will feel lonely especially if you have been a very extroverted person that has always had people around you and is suddenly finding yourself lacking in friendships but definitely the shift can bring apart you know loneliness and bring bring loneliness really into the frame for people so it is just important to be aware of that but it all serves a purpose and it's not going to be permanent it is going to help you find yourself 
As all part of this is finding ourselves, we have to find ourselves in order to find our way back to spirit. So um, it's very hard to, I would never say that people can just not address their own healing journey and just connect directly to spirit. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen, that does. And I am aware of people who um, don't appear, or do not appear to be on a healing journey and have a very strong connection to spirit. However, I definitely think that your, your connection to spirit can be amplified by having that connection to yourself okay and part of this spiritual awakening is bringing you back to yourself bringing you back to your purpose so it's worth bearing that in mind whenever you are feeling lonely whenever you're feeling crazy whenever you're wondering like why am i experiencing this then that that can be why so have a bit of a search on different facebook groups um there will be a load of Facebook groups that you will be able to find people who are going through a spiritual experience there you could even check made up you know, if you've never heard of Meetup before, it can be a really good way of connecting in with people. You might find there's some groups around that, around spiritual awakening, meditation, things like that. Development circle. Um, local churches. Now, I don't mean like the Christian churches. I'm meaning specifically the spiritual churches. Um, they can also be, uh, you know, a sense of um, solace as well for you and help you connect in with other people who are going through spiritual experiences. What I would say is that not everybody that is connected to spirit is spiritual there is a difference so if you're on a bit of a spiritual journey and a spiritual pathway and um, just be aware that there are people out there who converse with spirit who may go to churches but who may not lead a spiritual life or be on a spiritual path and it's just something to, to be aware of or you could end up a little bit disheartened um there is definitely um oh so i've got a i've actually just launched um a community so i did have a facebook group going and i, I found facebook to be quite limiting so i have really invested in this online community and if you head to um community.themediumshipacademy.com there is a, a chat forum and a way that you can connect in with people and then also um connect in with different resources and things like that that might help you on your spiritual path so that is a good way to also connect in with people and find like minds really and find different friends and connect in with people. For those times whenever we are feeling that we're a little bit crazy, it can be beneficial to have a paper diary or an electronic diary that you have been keeping and writing down. So any sorts of spiritual experiences that you've been having, if you've been communicating with spirit, you know, make a note of that. If you've had any information validated, because that will all help you whenever you're having those moments of doubt within yourself, which they will come. If you've not had them yet, they will come. Um, but you're definitely not alone on this journey. You know, this is a it's so exciting to be having the spiritual experiences and to be going through this awakening but also very very lonely as you know you probably are aware of and um it can be quite daunting and quite frightening at times as well because of the experiences that we have if you're connecting in with spirit and you're receiving information and communication through part of it is breaking down those barriers of you know trusting ourselves and trusting the information and that is especially so if this has been something that has not been something that you've really believed in if you've been a skeptic or an essayer to go through this change it is a very very big change that you're going through within yourself and it can be hard for others to adjust but it's also hard for you to adjust so Try and be patient with people, but just because you've had the same friends doesn't mean that you need to maintain the same friendships on an ongoing basis. The universe will remove people that don't need to be on your path right now. They will remove distractions and you might feel quite isolated, but again, it is something that a lot of people do experience whenever they're on this path. The other thing that I wanted to reassure you of is that everybody goes through this path at a different pace and everybody's path is different. We talk, I certainly talk, and I use the term, the spiritual awakening process. Whenever we start to awaken to spirit, that is the start of the process and it is really an ongoing thing that we never finish. So when you've started to have your spiritual awakening, you're going to be spiritually awakening forever. It may not be as intense as what it is now, or you may have periods on your path where it is more intense than others. So it's important to be aware of that and to be open to that. But now that you're on this path, you've got a little sliver of information, but there's a hell of a lot more to come. So you're going to be, you know, again, in this in baby steps and just in palatable amounts, I would say, there are a lot more changes to come really I guess is what I'm trying to say when you're on your path moving forward. 
And when you are comparing yourself to people who are on a spiritual awakening path, I really discourage that. And I, I wouldn't encourage it in any in any aspect of your life, really. We all have our own individual path and that can be to do with, you know, what we have chosen for ourselves whenever we have incarnated. It could be to do with destiny. It could be to do with, you know, a lot of different things. But some people you might look at and they might fly through their spiritual awakening and you might look at others and they're going slow. But just try and focus on your own path. Let things unfold naturally. Take this time to turn inwards, focus on you, let yourself adjust to the changes that you're experiencing. Try not to worry too much about other people. You might find that other people will be worried about you at this time because you're so different, you're going through different experiences. They may think, oh my gosh, you know, there's a concern there with their mental health. But hopefully this will reassure you that there isn't. I'm not saying that there is no concern with your mental health. I do want to rephrase that. I am not a doctor. I can't diagnose you. I'm not actually speaking to you, so I don't know anything about your situation. But if you feel like this is what you're experiencing, it's very, very important to trust your intuition as well. Um, and don't let the external society expectations or friendships and family members dictate to you that there is something wrong with your mind or um, if that you're imagining it or anything like that. And some of you might be very lucky actually that you have people around you that are very supportive you might have people around you that are very immersed in this world already you might have people around you that really believe in all of this um and that's a brilliant place to be i didn't have that but you know everybody's path is different as i say so take it each day as it comes you know hopefully you'll find solace in this and a little bit of sanity as well and a little bit of support so start to seek out those friendships and those new connections and those communities that will be very 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 helpful for you and be patient with yourself give yourself time meditation is really important if you're not a meditator now is the best time to start um journal that can be helpful whether it's a paper journal or an electronic journal and whether it's your experiences or your emotions or a bit of the two it can be very useful to have that to go through but expect a lot of change and be open to a lot of change to happen the purging the emotions coming up to the surface all of the tears it's all making way for something amazing that is to come and i hope that that has really brought you some comfort i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you're able to, please rate the show or leave feedback on your chosen podcast player. You can also visit the podcast website. Simply head across to thehappypsychic.show and you can also find me on the socials by searching for at Gemma Lonsdale Guru.